men and women who would respond generously to the invitation of the Lord to work in his vineyard. And so we celebrate this Mass in honor of Mary, Queen of Apostles. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting love. Amen. Panginoon, maawag ka. Panginoon, maawag ka. Kristo, maawag ka. Kristo, maawag ka sa God who gave the Holy Spirit to your apostles as they prayed with Mary the mother of Jesus grant through her intercession we may faithfully serve your majesty and extend by word and example the glory of your name through our Lord Jesus Christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit God forever and ever Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, how can any one of you with a case against another dare to bring it to the anxious for judgment instead of the holy ones? Do you not know that the holy ones will judge the world? If the world is to be judged by you, are you unqualified for the lowest law courts? Do you not know that we will judge angels? Then why not everyday matters? If therefore you have courts for everyday matters, do you sit as judges, people of no standing in the church? I say this to shame you. Can it be that there is not one among you wise enough to be able to settle a case between brothers? But rather, brother goes to court against brother, and that before unbelievers. Now indeed, then it is in any case, a failure on your part that you have lawsuits against one another. Why not rather put up with shall injustice? Why not rather let yourselves be cheated? Instead, you inflict injustice and cheat and these to brothers. Do you not know that the unjust will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor boy prostitutes, nor sodomites, nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor the drunkards, nor slanderers, nor robbers will inherit the kingdom of God. 
That is what some of you used to be, but now you have yourself washed, you are sanctified, you are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and in the spirit of our God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord takes delight in his people. The Lord takes delight in his people. Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let them praise his name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord loves his people, and he adorns the lowly with victory. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all his faithful. Alleluia. The Lord takes delight in his people. Please stand. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus departed to the mountain to pray, and he spent the night in prayer to God. When they came, he called his disciples to himself, and from then he chose twelve whom he also named Apostles, Simon, whom he named Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, Simon, who was called Zealot, and Judas, the son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. And he came down with them and stood on a stretch of level ground. The great crowd of his disciples and a large number of the people from all Judea and Jerusalem and the coastal region of Tyre and Sidon came to hear him to be healed of their diseases and even those who were tormented by unclean spirits were cured. Everyone in the crowd sought to touch him, because power came forth from him and healed them all. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, September is vocation month. It is a month in which the church is invited to pray for more vocations to the priesthood, to the religious life, and other forms of consecrated life. Pinagdadasal po natin na maraming mga lalaki ang tutugon sa tawag ng Panginoon para tayo ay magkaroon ng maraming pari sa simbahan. Pinagdadasal din natin na maraming gusto magmadre, maging brothers, maging religious, so, fittingly today, from the gospel, we heard Jesus praying. And after praying, Jesus chose 12 men to become his apostles. And the gospel named them one by one. And this tells us of the need for co-workers in the vineyard of the Lord. Kinakailangan po natin ng mga tao para magtrabaho, para may palaganap ang mabuting balita, para 
dalhin ang salita ng Diyos sa ang mangsulok ng mundo. My dear brothers and sisters, one of the titles of the Blessed Virgin Mary is Queen of Apostles. So we entrust to our Blessed Mother on this eighth day of our novena in preparation for her birthday, we ask for the gift of more holy priests in the church and more men and women in the consecrated life. So, ipagdasal natin. Through the intercession of Mary, may many be inspired to reply to the call of the Lord, that they may be generous, just like the apostles in today's gospel. They were fishermen, one was a political figure, one was a tax collector. So, all people from all walks of life are invited to collaborate with our Lord to help Him in the work of evangelization. So tayo pong lahat sana tumugon. At kung may mga anak kayo, pwede ninyo silang himukin. Yung mga apo ninyo, pwede ninyo sigurong tanungin, gusto mo bang magpare? Gusto mong pumasok sa seminaryo? Gusto mo mag magmadre? Gusto mong pumunta sa monasteryo, sa St. Clair, for example? No? So, nagsisimula po ang bukasyon sa pamilya. If the family prays, if there is a religious atmosphere in the families, vocations will come out. Magkakaroon tayo ng mga bukasyon sa pagpapari, sa pagmamadre, sa pagiging religious brothers. So, we ask that all families pray together and especially ask our Blessed Mother for more vocations that she pray with us and intercede for more holy priests, holy religious sisters and brothers in the church that like the apostles in today's gospel, we may be able to respond to the call of Jesus generously. Please stand. God calls His chosen ones to fulfill His will. Let us pray confidently to our Father, knowing that He wishes His people to intercede for the world. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church, through the Pope and bishops, may lead us to the fullness of Christian life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the statesmen may guide our nation to the future stability and development of our nation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may persevere and be faithful in the vocation God has called us to undertake. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the old, the sick, and the lonely may realize God's presence in their trials and difficulties. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may rest in the peace of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, as we make these prayers, we come to do your will. Accept us in your blessed Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The bread by your hand was once a seed was sown. Then grew and yielded on the ground and gathered all for me. The wine by your cup 
was once a pilot way. It grew to bear good fruits for Ben, a symbol of the blood of that seed your body our bread of life of that wine we your blood the wine of you come please stand Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. By your favor, O Lord, and through the intercession of Blessed Mary, ever virgin, may our offering obtain for your church His grace, that she may grow in the number of the faithful and be ever radiant with an abundance of virtues. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and every word to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name. In veneration of the blessed ever Virgin Mary, for by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <laughs> it 
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death outward until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Ricardo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Uh, the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us his day. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us, deliver us. From me. Then. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. 
The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Cordero ng Diyos na nag-alis ng mga kasalanan ng sanlibutan maawa ka sa abin Cordero ng Diyos na nag-alis ng mga kasalanan ng sanlibutan maawa ka sa Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Let us pray the act of his spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you're in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart as though you have already come. I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, is ransom me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Permit me not to be separated from you. From the wicked fall, defend me. At the hour of my death, call me and bid me come to you, that which are saints I may praise you forever and ever. Amen. Salong 
Let us pray. Having partaken, O Lord, of this house to our salvation in commemoration of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Queen of Apostles, we humbly beseech you that persevering in your will and in service of the human family, your people may draw ever closer to salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be reminded that of September 8th is the feast of the birth of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Let us greet our Blessed Mother on her birthday by attending Mass and praying the Rosary. Masses will be offered at the Basilica from 6 a.m. to 4.30 in the afternoon. After the 4.30 Mass, there will be a living rosary. And we would like again to remind pilgrims and parishioners to respect sacred places by wearing appropriate dress. So, tayo po ay manamit ng wasto. Pagpupunta po tayo ng simbahan, igalang po natin ang sagradong lugar. Hindi po ito mall. So, bawal po ang short pants, bawal ang mini skirts, crop top, transparent dresses, see-through, at mga hindi po wastong pananamit sa pagsisimba. Let us re remember that if there are dress codes for hotels and restaurants, how much more if we are attending the Eucharist in which Jesus Christ is truly present. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in peace. Thanks be to God. Marayo Virgen Ang sinabi kaluluhan Si kawi at tigutan Yen ako na kagayan Si kawi at tigutan Yen ako na kagayan Please kneel. Let us pray the prayer before a crucifix. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel, and with burning soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity through contrition for my sins and a firm purpose of amendment, while I contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious wounds, pondering over them within me, and calling to mind the words that David, your prophet, said of you, my Jesus, they have pierced my hands and feet, they have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of Piat, O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits, and in the hope of receiving new blessings, which you know I need in life. Deino, no dearest Mother, to shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for body and soul, particularly. And the special grace to thine God's love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of God, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mm -hmm. 